there's a that's why there's websites like I think AnimeCons.com and then they just created a sister site FanCons.com that cover all of these. So oh sweet yeah so you can just go there and just take a list of wherever it's at all over the country if not the world yeah, pretty much anywhere you live there's something going oh yeah it doesn't have to be a huge one like Comic Con or you know. Otakon or something like that. It could be one of those small, like, you know, 500 to 3,000 attendee, which are still a hell of a lot of fun. That's a hell of a lot of fun. And, and there's something to be said for the small cons. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, it's, there's, depending on what they are, there, there are a few, there's one kind of weapons oriented slash, uh, I don't know exactly what the hell they are, con that takes place in, I think, Arizona, that, you know, I've got, uh, friends and future family members who have worked it in the past with the, their booth mm-hmm. and have brought back the horror stories. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, God, no. Uh, <laughs> come back on. Um, and, oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I've heard some horror stories. So there's some cops I'm just like, yeah, okay. You know, for those that are into it, though, more power to them. Mm, true. All right, well, let's move on to what you want to talk about first. Video games, some anime, what we should do first. Follow up on last show's um, PSO talk. We were, uh, talking yes. last to- we were talking last time about PSO 2, mm-hmm. Fantasy Star Online 2, and we weren't. they hadn't announced a uh, release date or even if there was going to be a uh, version of it released in the West. Mm-hmm. Well, Sega has given us a teaser trailer saying for sure yes it will be coming to the u.s tentative time is late winter early spring 2013 i play i play summer to be on the safe side but yeah no they're saying they're saying it's going to be early really all they have to do it's all all it is now is localization and a lot of that was built into it because remember we talked about this folder true 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 so it's just a case of probably doing the voiceover bits and that's it Mm. Okay. Well, so, we do have the trailer. You want to play that? Go for it. All right. do my little nerd happy dance yes (laughs) after the last talk uh after we talked about it the last show i actually had somebody ping me up going you know hey you didn't mention are the mags coming back Mm. um yes they are so um you get to you you get to have your little over the shoulder companion Mm -hmm. that uh you feed various stuff to and grow it into one of a bajillion subsets and get special powers accordingly so that that was a lot of fun. I, I can't tell you how many months I spent reading Max. <laughs> I will say though, just from watching that trailer, just the the style of that trailer reminded me a lot of Final Fantasy thirteen. Uh, that could be the fact that I've been playing Final Fantasy thirteen this past week. So thirteen, really thirteen? Yeah, honestly, mm, okay. I I, I okay. have not finished Final Fantasy thirteen. 
It's all right. Neither have I. Yeah, I've like, only made it a couple hours into. I've only made it a couple hours into it before I was like, "Oh my god, this is painful." <laughs> it's, it's gorgeous, and the story looks interesting, but mm. not interesting enough to make me to get me past. Uh, yeah, I didn't get very. Far. Yeah, the last time I played was I checked my last save file when I started this past weekend was November, and then I started. And I, at that point, I already had like thirty six hours into it. I'm like, oh, I'll just keep on playing and whatnot. As of I think like two nights ago, I was like. At the final chapter, not to give any spoilers, but you have to go from boss to boss to boss, as you do normally do in any of these type of games. Mm-hmm. And I found out that, oh, yeah, I'm beating these guys left, right, and center. And I get to one, and I'm like, oh, shoot, I cannot beat Did this Did you person. encounter your ruby weapon? No, it got to the point <laughs> where I couldn't. It was those big dinosaur, brontosaurus kind of looking things that I couldn't destroy. So for the past, like, two days, I have had, I've had to grind. And I'm in the the boss area, so I had to play the bottom, the lower five bosses over and over and over again to try to level up, and I'm failing miserably. So now the truth comes out. Now I know where you've been online. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, I haven't had it until earlier this week. Uh-huh. I had, you know, I, as people we've talked about before, I did move. That's why you see that, you know, I have a different background now. I went for the uh, the, the diamond style. Of doom. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, <laughs> two comforters, and it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's all good though. Hopefully, I'll get some air conditioning in a, another few cool. weeks. Very cool. Well, I'm glad the move went well, and then we got you up in time for the show. So. Oh yes, I well, I love Fios. Bandwidth is awesome. Oh, I hate you. Yeah, speed test uh, before the show. It was 46 megs down, 37 megs up. <laughs> How, wow, just wow. I mean, I have the option for 40 bucks more a month to, to upgrade it to 150 down, 65 up. But I think I'm cool with what we have right now. Yeah, Verizon needs to come to my neighborhood and <laughs> house AT&T, because AT&T sucks. Nah. Oh, well. Okay, Tangent moving over. on. Yes, moving on. Okay, so what should we talk about now? Oh, oh, you've been watching an anime lately. Oh, yes. Yes, I actually did. I finally broke down. Well, okay, first off, I told you I picked up the Panty and Stocking video uh, mm-hmm. DVDs um, when I was at Comic-Con, and... It used to be that the funniest dub for me ever was ghost stories because oh, they yeah. just basically said, script, what's that? Fuck it. Let's have fun. Um, and they did a really good job, although some of the jokes are kind of dated now. I watched Panty and Stocking Disc 1 last Saturday. I marathon the entire first disc. It was me, Nikki, and her best friend, Jen. And, oh, my God, I thought the show was funny in Japanese. It's even funnier in English, it which is, is rare. Uh, I, and some of the quips they wrote, I mean, they weren't kidding when they said they added more F-bombs. Um, the creative insults they came up with for some of these things. Um, like, there's one point where uh, it wasn't in the uh, the Panty Bots versus the Dece- uh, the Gothicons episode, which was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I love that episode so much. Um, but uh, I don't remember which episode it was. But there's one point where Stocky's doing something. She's like, "Oh my god, that was that was way easier than I thought. That was easier than Panty in a frat house." And I was like, "Okay, that's good. That's good. I like that." Uh, and it's just full of zingers and one-liners and calling Clinkenbeard as uh, is it Scanny or Nisox, one of the two of them. I think it was is Scanny. awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it's, and, it's and really good. And, well, have you? You obviously you've seen some of it, right? I did at Anime Expo. I saw, I went to the premiere, so I watched the first so, four so episodes. So you've listened to Garter Bell. I have. Can you envision that being the voice of Vegeta? I'm not kidding. It's the same voice <laughs> That's actor. That's right. It is. It, it's right. It's also Chris Science Gate, which we'll get to in a minute. But, yes. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm listening to I'm, I'm I'm listening to him do Garter Belt, and I'm just going. I want to hear him once say, "It's over nine thousand. You know, it's just. But I mean, the Just, comments they already that he makes already as Garter Belt are hilarious, you know. Oh yeah. Oh man, Garter Belt, that was some great curry. Yes, that was really good curry. Good black curry. I'm like, you'll never go back. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, Chris, you wait. <laughs> yeah, I got. I gotta wonder how much of that was uh, Clinkenbeard's script and versus how much they actually got to play around. I gotta wonder. I mean, it's it definitely has a feel that you 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 get from watching like Ghost Stories. Oh yeah, totally, totally. Ghost Stories was was uh like i said it was it was the candle holder or mm-hmm. it was the torch until now yeah and it was. it's wow just wow I, I i'm gonna try and watch disc two this weekend 
and I'm going to marathon it. I would love, I need, I need to go buy the set myself. Too funny. bad it's only on DVD. It's not on Blu-ray. Damn you, Funimation. Um, I actually asked about that while I was at the booth. Licensing? Um, and it's not, they said it's not, um, not going to happen. Uh, it's, it's not out of the realms of possibility, mm -hmm. but they're, they're having, there's something they're trying to work out. Uh, it's, it's something they're trying to work out for the Blu-ray district. Negotiations, gotcha. That's that's my guess. They didn't actually say. Um, so it's not, I'm hoping that eventually it will come out on Blu-ray, and this is one of the ones that I'm actually willing to spend the money to buy a second set. Yeah, but so. you know what? Regardless of whether it comes out on Blu-ray or not, this is still something that you guys need to buy on e DVD. Oh yeah, totally. And even watching it on DVD on my TV, I've got a 42-inch widescreen, mm -hmm. and it looks crisp it's so and the animation style kind of lends itself to that it guy does. did the it very does. you know it's the thick lot thick border lines on a lot of stuff so yeah thick line simple coloration it's very you know powerpuff girls meets scooby-doo but mm -hmm. it's wow <laughs> well for those of you who haven't actually you know watched this yet i'll uh, let me play the trailer that they showed for the english dub it's a little bit old it uh, appeared online about may but it still gives you a taste of what to expect from the English dub of this series. Yes, totally. <laughs> between heaven and hell. All I need out of life is to wake up next to some morning wood. Is there anything hard you refuse to jump on? I'll stick with sugar. Don't you ever play protein? Shut up! Get your lazy asses to the scene immediately! If you don't want to be stuck here forever, the only option you pathetic excuse for anything resembling angels have is to buy your way back into heaven when heaven's going to collect exterminating evil ghosts! So what are you thinking? Nah, f*** it, let's go. Awesome. <laughs> I, I gotta say that aside from you know the whole animation style that this is the one scene where they do the transformation sequence where they go like highly the detailed actual quality, yeah, the actual quality jumps up I've since the the first episode came out you know however long ago people have been saying I want this whole series in that style and I kind of have to disagree with them on it. It wouldn't work on the same level. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I think part of the humor and part of what the way it works is the fact that they didn't do the whole the whole anime that way. Mm -hmm. The fact the part of the randomness and part of the comedy of the series is that the quality of the animation shifts so drastically at a couple points. Like there's one episode where um, they, they the whole episode takes place in the city next to Daton City. Mm -hmm. And the animation style on that one, oh, God, what is the series? It's very Tokyo Godfathers, almost, mm -hmm. as far as the art style. And uh, Otomo. It's got a very Otomo feel to it. Maybe not. But anyway, mm. it, it's it's radically different style. And then uh, and then at one point when you see Patty and Stocking raid that city, and they're still in their original Dot and City animation style, <laughs> that's part of what makes it work. Yeah, exactly. In any case, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, go buy it. The, the full series, all what, 13 episodes, are on, what, three DVDs? Uh, two DVDs. Okay. It's two DVDs. There's 14 episodes, uh, many of which are broken up into two little mini episodes. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, not every episode is set up that way, but a lot of the episodes are broken into 15-minute segments, well, about 12-minute segments. Um, and then there's some that actually go across the entire episode. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's half of them on one disc, half of them on the other, and so far I'm I'm loving the English dub, which is a rarity for me to say. Yeah, it's it's definitely enjoyable. I'm going to pick it up once I have some extra, you know, funds. So it's worth it. It was, it was one of the few things I was went out of my way to get when I was at con. Sure. <laughs> 